Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a fabulous Sunday. Um, the weather here is beautiful in Charleston, South Carolina, and I want to welcome you to Nana's Cookie Corner. So I decided to jump online and have some fun, and I'm going to make a breakfast item for dinner. I'm going to go ahead and make a Mexican frittata um, from the Epicure website, their recipe. So of course, we're gonna use a multi-steamer and all the fabulous products and ingredients that Epicure um, offers us. And so we're gonna use the multi-steamer. So I'm just gonna jump in and go to the um, recipe. So, okay, so the ingredients um, calls for a bell pepper, some eggs, egg white, fajita seasoning, avocado, guacamole dip, and some lime juice. So. We are gonna go ahead and it asks for you to dice peppers and place them in the multi-steamer and cover in the microwave for one minute. Of course, I already prepped and I had diced my, um, actually I didn't have uh, one red bell pepper. So I'm using the mini um, sweet peppers right there. So um, what's so good about Epicure is um, it's fast, healthy meals um, and stuff that you have in the refrigerator. So you can always substitute if you don't have the exact item on the recipe. And that's what I did. And really, if you have the, in your refrigerator, a lot of people have eggs, milk, um, cheese, bread, um, maybe some vegetables. And if you add some chicken and some ground beef or ground turkey, or if you're a vegan, some tofu, um, on the, if you just have that extra, um, you pretty much can make anything um, off of Epicure's recipe. Um, if you have some of their meal plans and the multi-steamer just makes it quick, all their ingredients are, um, are gluten-free. They are non-GMO and peanut-free um, and sodium and sugar content. So they're low. So if you have a high taste for salt or in your family, um, like to use a lot of salt because it basically flavors the um, food, um, I suggest they will have to add some salt because Epicure keeps their um, products and ingredients um, very low sodium. So we're gonna go ahead and put the peppers in the multi-steamer, okay? And on the prep bowl, um, it, it has measurements um, to a four to three fourths cups and it also has it in milliliters. And when you, um, if you purchase them from Epicure, you get four bowls um, in the kit that you get. You get four, four prep bowls. Okay, so let's put that in the um, microwave for one minute. And um, I'm gonna put the holes going away from me because it does get hot. It's high silicone and um, dishwasher safe, oven safe and microwave safe. Okay, we're gonna let that uh, cook. That's only a minute, doesn't take very long. Um, some of the meal packets that I have, just wanted to go through you. We got taco, we got carrot cake. They got so much Don, Don Air, which is um, also known as gyros in, my, um, in the United States. You got mud pie, um, just a bunch of stuff. Rotisserie chicken, you can kick, uh, cook a three pound rotisserie chicken in the microwave, um, in the multi-steamer, or in the round steamer in 20 minutes. And it just, the meat just falls off the bone. So uh, example in that, in these um, meal solution packets, um, they give you the nutrition facts. Also, they uh, give you the ingredients of what you'll need and your own groceries and then all these spices that come in here. You don't have to put any of the spices together and um, the directions for the microwave and oven. So for the rotisserie chicken, just an example, their ingredients is paprika, cornstarch, garlic, sea salt, sumac, chili powder, and the spices are salt, garlic, rice concentrate, herbs, and black pepper. You can actually read the ingredients. Um, they have this thing called the Never Ever List, and it has a, a lot of um, ingredients that they stay away from that we can't even pronounce. Um, and if you go to my Facebook page, Nana's uh, Cooking Corner, Epic Cooking Corner. Um, there is a video that goes over through the Never Ever list. Okay, so the microwave went off. Okay, so 
You see that steam? One minute, that's all it is. So the peppers are, are nice and soft. So let's just follow the recipe. So we are to crack five eggs into the steamer and I'm actually gonna decrease the um, eggs a little bit because there's just two of us. So I'm gonna put, I don't know, whatever I, I fancy, three or four eggs. One, two, three, Oh, let's do four. Okay. And the recipe calls to add the egg white. I have that at, done already, ready to go. It has for a cup of egg white. I'm doing it with a little bit less. Okay. Then we are to stir and mix that. Uh, Epicure has this whisk that's really high, very, um, it's a miniature whisk and it's very versatile. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get that. I have this flimsy whisk right here, but it'll, it'll work for now. All right, after you do that, we want to sprinkle some cheese on it. And uh, that's the cheese of your choice. I'm using jalapeno cheese and sharp cheddar cheese, okay? I have it in my prep bowl, so I'm gonna put the, I'm supposed to put that on top, okay? And we cover that back up, holes go away from me, and we go that in the microwave for three to four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and put on three minutes and I'll check it. Okay. While that's cooking, um, in the meantime, we're gonna make avocado dip. So I have my avocado. Cut that. Okay, and take the pit out. And we're going to spoon it out. We're going to make um, guacamole. That's what we're having out of the avocado. So not avocado dip, we're having guacamole. I'll scoop that out. And let me do the other half. Oops, just right out. I heard um, if your avocados are real hard, I heard a trick to soften them up is to put them in the microwave for one minute and that should soften them up for you to make it easier to cut. Okay. So then to make the guacamole dip, we, uh, Epicure says the guacamole um, spices. And again, the ingredients are onion, sea salt, red bell pepper, garlic, spices, herbs, and chili. And the directions are actually on the back how to make the guacamole and you also can make creamy guacamole. So with the guacamole, um, it says one and a half tablespoons. So here's our four in one measuring spoon. This is awesome. Um, it's instead of having the loose four spoons, you got, um, you got a tablespoon, you got a teaspoon and on the back you have, if I can see it right, a half a teaspoon and then there's also a line in there for a fourth of a teaspoon. So the recipe calls for one and a half and it fits in our jars just right of guacamole, okay? So then we are to mash it. This is the, um, actually a meat separator and I can mash it with this. This is one of the best products that, this is one of my top five. Again, if you go to my Facebook page, and you look at my top five, this is one of them. So um, this can do ground hamburger, ground turkey, mashed potatoes, bananas, peaches, um, pulled chicken, pulled pork. It just mashes it. It has the, um, it just, it's, it 
it just has uh, like three little slanted blades on the bottom and it'll just mush everything down to a soft uh, mix and I'll show you. Right. So let me check um, the microwave. We're going to go another two minutes, um, you know, and when you cook your fast meal, um, it all depends on your microwave, on how long it cooks. Um, my microwave only goes to 900 watts, but a lot of them go to 1,000. So you kind of learn your microwave on um, if you need to cook longer or less. So, um, all right, so here's the meat separator. I'm just showing you the blades. I guess you, the guacamole. And here's what it does. Can you see it? So that's the guacamole. Okay, we'll put that aside. So we also went in the guacamole. It says for a squirt of lime. I got my lime. This is one, another. This is a citrus squeezer. Um, I call it a citrus squeezer, but anyway, it's one of my top five um, products that I love. So actually, actually, we know the green means for the lime. Yellow means for the lemon. Now, a lot of people think you just put it in there and squeeze, but actually you have to put it the other way. Um, and my lime is pretty big, so I'm gonna have to go put it in the lemon uh, cup. But anyway, you put it the opposite so the curve goes this way, so you can squeeze it all out and go down and it catches the seeds. So I don't know if you can see that, but it only asks for a little bit of juice. Oh, I still have a lot of juice lime juice left, and um, which is fine because I can use it again. So I mix that right there. Mmm, that smells good. All right. So let me let me read this. Okay. Let's take it out. We're gonna check our eggs. Woo, that's hot. You see the steam? It is warm to the touch, but it's not hot where you can't pick it up. And there it is. And there's one thing that you are supposed to add to it um, is fajita seasoning and, and stir it in there. But I'm gonna just add a little bit uh, on the top um, and let it um, settle in. I'm not gonna add too much because um, it's a little bit spicy for me, but it's it, what you, it, ingredients are spices, chili powder, onion, garlic, mustard, flour, black pepper, lemon, cayenne pepper, and herbs. Again, your spoon fits in there, right there, but um, I only need a little bit. So we're going to go to four teaspoon, and I'm just sprinkling a little bit on there. And I'm just going to let it get in there a little bit, okay? But the uh, recipe calls for you to put it in there and mix it in. Okay. So there is, I don't know if you can see that, the finished product. And we are going to put it on the plate and just cut a little square. Oh, how yummy is that? But I'm not done. So let me move this. I'm going to add some. With mine, I'm going to add some yogurt to the side. Okay. And I had prepped some blueberries and raspberries. Let me just use my yogurt spoon. Put that on there. And I'm gonna top that with a summer berry that um, 
it's just, you can put on yogurt, ice cream. It's very, it's um, very good. And it um, tells you what you can do. You can put it in cheese balls. It gives you icy pops, ice pops. You, um, you can make it into a dip for the uh, plain Greek yogurt. And its ingredients are organic cane sugar, raspberry, hibiscus, strawberry, or an organic spices. So we're going to get a little bit of that. Just a little bit. And again, it, it fits right in the, in the there. There we go. That's the um, summer berry. That's going to be awesome for um, this summer. Put on fruits and um, watermelon, cantaloupe, pineapple. And then I'm going to put guacamole on the side to dip to dip my eggs my mexican frittata i just love that how that sounds if you want to go a little bit further some people might want a little bit more mexican with like a picante sauce they um also have coco picante you can make a little sauce in there and very easy to make and um that's that so there is my finished dinner for tonight. What do you think about that? It's very beautiful, very colorful. That's it. I hope everybody enjoyed this quick, fast, easy, healthy meal uh, for dinner. And stay tuned for some more um, cooking demos. This is Nana from the Cookie Corner. Everybody, have a great weekend. Have a great day. And your week start off beautiful tomorrow. And happy trails.